so today's story involves this kid that I used to hang out with, but sadly had to change schools. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but I have nothing else to talk about for the intro, but whatever. Uh, my name is Blakey Boy, and welcome to my channel, YG Self. Today I'm going to be telling you guys a story about how one of my friends got tased by a cop. A cop. Jesus Christ. <laughs> my only regret is not being there to witness the action, but... Yeah, let's talk about this. So let's just get right into it because this is like a this is like a story that's too amazing not to just get right into. So I used to hang out with this kid when I first came to the school that I am currently at now. When I first came to that school, like I would like um like I guess like whenever you go to like a new school for the first time, you like you kind of try to like latch out and find it. whoever's like remotely nice to you, then you'll become their friend and at least until you get like a. I guess, like you get more comfortable enough to be able to expand your friend groups. I guess I don't know. I'm not saying you ditched, like, the people that you first hang out with. I'm talking about, um, you find your first few friends. That was so gross when I swallowed my spit. Yuck. But I hang out with this kid, and I'm gonna call him Vagina Face Poopy Liquor because I don't really have any good, uh, naming ideas. No offense to the kid I'm talking about. I really don't have any, uh, ill towards this dude. He's a pretty cool dude. Honestly, he's still my friend, uh, so I'd like to think, but, um, yeah, I'm just not really good with naming things. So, Vagina, place, vagina Face Poopy Liquor... I uh, was a kid that I would hang out with um, when I first came to this school that I currently am at now, like in the beginning of the year. And I would always sit with him on the bus. I'd talk to him when nobody else was uh, talking to me and stuff. Like, we'd, we'd, we'd hang out. We'd be pretty good friends. And this kid, like, <clears throat> my voice is cracked, but this kid was always, like, he was always, what is the word for it? He was, like, really sketchy, I guess. Not sketchy, but... It seemed like he had a lot of shit going on at home, and one day we could, you could like, you could really tell like he'd come and like uh, he'd be talking about like some of the crazy shit that would happen at his house. Like they'd be arguing and like uh, I think like one of the kids in my school like beat the shit out of him because he was talking trash or whatever. And uh, I guess this dude had like an anger problem. I'm not, I don't really know. I don't really like to look into people that much because, well, I, I can't really remember people on a first name basis, let alone actually know about their character and stuff. But I would hang out with this kid and like make jokes and stuff. I never really bothered to know more. I, I, it's a regret. I need to, I need to start learning more about people. But anyway, this dude started, um, the story, I guess, like really starts one day. Uh, I got on the bus, and this dude comes up to me, and he says, Hey, Blake. I'm like, hey, what's up, Vagina Face, Vagina Face Spoopy Licker? How are you? And he says, bro, you are not going to believe this. I just got, I, I got tased, dude. I got tased. I'm like, you are such a goddamn liar. And he's like, no, man, I, seriously, I got tased by a cop. And it seemed like he was bl bragging about it. I don't know who would brag about getting tased by a cop, but apparently this guy, he's like, yeah, I got tased by a cop. And I'm like, oh, good for you, dude. Prove it. And he lifts up his little hoodie that he always wears. He lifts up his hoodie, and it shows that, like, when the shirt he's wearing has, like, a little hole in it. I'm like, why would you wear the shirt you got tased in the day before? And I was like, yeah, it's probably, like, a souvenir so when he shows off to everybody that he got tased by a cop. Because apparently he finds that his awesome. <laughs> he's like, yeah, see, and, he's got, and it got, like, a little hole. And right behind the hole, you could see his skin was, like, a... It was all irritated and stuff. And I don't really know how to describe what it looked like. It was, like... Uh, God, it's it's really hard to explain it, but it was like, it wasn't like the rest of his skin. I'm just going to say that. It was like kind of like purplish or something like that. It looked like a, it was like a bruise, but it was like no bruise that I've ever seen before. And I was like, Jesus Christ, did he really get tased? What ha what the hell happened? Did someone like throw like a pop rock at him or something? Did, did someone like just burn him with a cigarette? I was like, Jesus Christ. And he goes into school and this is how I actually really know, how I really know that he wasn't bullshitting. I go to school and like a bunch of other kids like uh, later on during a prep assembly, a bunch of other kids pull them up to their little group and they all start freaking talking to him. They start poking at him like, yo, yo, you got freaking tased, bro? Did you get tased? And he's like, yes, yes, uh, yes, I did get tased, man. And here's the backstory behind it. So apparently this guy is, um, this guy was like having a fight with his sister or something. And when he was fighting with his sister, uh, by the way, I don't really feel uncomfortable telling this story aloud because this dude would tell everybody at school about the story, so what, it, what the hell does it really matter if I share this shit on a small-ass channel? But basically, this dude was fighting with his sister, and things got out of hand or something, and I guess, like, it escalated to the point where her, his sister... Yeah, wait, no. This is how it actually happened. I remember, actually, the day before this shit happened, he was telling me that he was planning on getting a vape. Like, he was like, you know, like, he wanted to get, like, one of these vape things. He's like, yeah, man, I'm gonna go get a vape. And apparently, when this dude bought a vape, he actually went out and bought a vape. Like, I, like a lot of the kids I would know, like, would bullshit about it, but they never actually get it. 
And this dude actually got a vape, and he, like, I guess props to him, like, he actually followed through with what he was saying. But this dude got a vape, and he, he like, bought it from the store, and he, like, hide it in his house because his parents, or at least his mom that he was living with, didn't really accept that he'd have it, so he had to hide it. And his little sister, no, his older sister or his little brother, I don't know which either one, found it that he was hiding it underneath his pillow or, like, his pillowcase, which is a really stupid place to hide something, dude. Like, if you got vape and shit, you gotta you got open, like, a, a stuffed animal, and then you gotta, like, put it in the stuffing and then sew it back up or some shit. You gotta do, like, something clever with it if you're if you're gonna be hiding stuff. But these are, this is not the advice you should be taking from me. That's This is terrible advice. Don't listen to me. But this dude, uh, this dude, one of this dude's siblings found it, and... <sighs> That's when things started to escalate. His sister was arguing with him. I guess his mom was involved in it somehow too, but all I really know is that his sister was fighting with him, and then it escalated to the point where his sister slapped the dude in the freaking face, just bitch slapped him, and the guy got really angry. My friend, Mr. Poopy Face Vagina Butthole or something, I don't really remember the name, but he got mad, and then he started getting like pissed off. I guess like he got out of control or something. He never really told me what he did, but he was, got, he was getting out of control. And then the cops came, and the cops started freaking the hell out, no, not they didn't freaking hell out. They were like, "Sir, calm down. You need to, you need to calm down right now." And uh, he's like, "Oh yeah." And they just tased me. I'm like, I feel like there's like a little bit of a chunk missing from that story, dude, uh, Mr. Poopy Face Butthole. But I just changed it to a Rick and Morty name. I just changed his name to a Rick and Morty name. Why did I change his name to a Rick and Morty name? I don't know. I'm gonna call him Mr. Poopy. I'm gonna call him Mr. Poopy Face Butthole now. <gasps> In a breath. Uh, so Mr. Poopy Face Butthole got tased, and he never really told me, like, what... He's like, he told me before, he's like, yeah, they thought I was hitting my... I was about trying to hit my mom, but I wasn't, I swear to God. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I totally believe you. But, um... Dude. He was like a freaking celebrity at school as the dude who got tased for <laughs> hiding his goddamn vape, but then someone finding it, and things get out of control, and the cops come, and they just... They just tase him. So I guess the moral of the day story is don't get vape vapes for faggots. Uh, except for you, Mr. Poopy Face Butthole. You were my man. I'll hit you up. I'll hit you up in the DMs. You're pretty You're pretty damn cool still. Uh, don't tase me, please. Uh, I guess like the really real lesson behind today's video is... I don't know. I guess when you do crazy shit, at least... No matter how much of a crazy thing you do, I guess, like, no matter how bad it is... No, that's not the lesson. I was gonna say, like, uh, in the end, everything turns out to be a crazy story to laugh about, but then again, not everything, because you could kill people, but... Uh... <laughs> Jesus God, what is, what is the lesson behind today's uh, video? <sighs> I guess the lesson behind today's video is... Don't do vape. <laughs> and if you're gonna do vape, hide it in better places. Yes, that is the completely uh, mature and um, adult response that I have for that. That is my lesson. Uh, follow that religiously. No sarcasm behind it. Just, just do it like that. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. I uh, hope you guys like that little diss I, uh, that little Ryan diss I posted yesterday. I'm pretty sure you guys might be freaking out at school because last time I made a diss, you guys freaked out. But I'm talking too much. This is, this is done. We're done with the video. I'm sorry. Good, goodbye. We're done. Hey, play the outro. Motherfucker, yeah. <laughs>